Okay, uh, name is Kent Johnson. I'm from Glassboro, and um, I was still living in Glassboro at the time of the summit back in 67. And um, it was a very hot, humid day, and it was kind of spritzling a little bit. And uh, we really felt the heat because right over here where all the people were, it's probably better than 1,500 people. Uh, it had rained and it was taking all the oxygen out of the uh, area because there were so many people and I had to back off because it was so uh, uh, hot and I was going to pass out. Um, I was standing right across the street there at the, Mar I think that was the Marshall residence at the time. And um, I got some pretty good shots with my uh, 126 Instamatic. And they were getting very popular then. And um, I was here earlier in the morning um, um, watching them, like NBC and CBS and all them guys set up. And I have I um, made a donation to the archives of some pictures that I got. And um, they had these gigantic uh, trailers, you know, like 41, 40 footers and. You know, by today's uh, standards, the uh, little uh, uh, vans that they have, they can set those up inside of maybe 30 minutes max. They were there all through the night. And um, I have pictures of Floyd Calber, the news, NBC newsman, and uh, he wasn't real happy about the heat. He wasn't real happy about getting up on the uh, makeshift uh, scaffold. He kept complaining about his knees all the time. So he finally got up enough uh, oomph to do that. And uh, right behind this gentleman here, this tree, after the uh, people started clearing away, the present and all was still here, but uh, Tom Snyder from uh, KYW come up, and he was standing right beside that tree, and I got a good shot of him. And I thought it was a very, very interesting day, and uh, it's kind of neat being back here, a little, little quieter, a little greener. Yeah. You estimate about 1,500 people. I, uh, I read articles that said it was more than that, but uh, I'm just trying to go conservatively, but they were all like right down in the pit there. Uh, I also got a shot of the one fellow that uh, they thought it was going to be an incident. There was four state troopers standing right over there, and um, uh, he wanted to get close. He wanted to get a shot. I mean, it may have been uh, the dampness in the air. He slid down the embankment, and they thought he was going to try to shoot the president or something. So. There was, there was four state troopers on top of this poor kid, you know, and he just wanted to get, get a closer shot. So I have a picture of that. If, mm. you know, so. Now, I imagine they blocked off the traffic so the people were standing out in the street. Where would people actually stand? Uh, right from, from about this tree mm -hmm. up to about the other, uh, other home up there, just mm -hmm. before you get to the point. But not actually in the street? Oh, yeah, in, in the, the street. street. Yeah. Yes. They, had this, they had this blocked off here. And uh, down the end there, where the right. Alumni Association is. Mm -hmm. And um, there's quite a mess afterward. I have some pictures of the debris. <laughs> so. Now, were you working in Glasgow in any capacity then? I think I was. Resident? I was 23. I was uh, between jobs. I had been working for Sears. And uh, I got laid off from there. So I think I was. Uh, I don't think I was working right at that point. So you had some time on yes. Yeah. Yeah, I have more time now, retirement. That's why I can memorize all this stuff now. <laughs> well, is there anything else you'd like to share with us about the event? Uh, I really wasn't into the political stuff back then, but um, I thought it was interesting the fact that, uh, you know, the President of the United States was going to be here and, and uh, Kosygin, you know, Russia. Uh, we all thought that uh, he was going to bring some uh, troops with him or something. You know, we were still afraid of the A-bomb. and. Uh, uh, oh, I did another thing I forgot to say. I did go to the demonstration schools and the campus schools way back, and we used to do those drills, you know, where you go out in the hallway and you get down on your hands and knees, you know. Not that it was going to do much good, but it made you feel better, yeah.